Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on Mac Gaming. Today on Identity 5, I'm playing as Gardener. I was playing solo queue, so these are all random teammates, and we are playing against a smiley face on Arms Factory. So as the game started, I just immediately ran to the corner to start decoding, and that corner is also my favorite kiting corner, so I know I can last at least 60 seconds if I kite there. And as you can see, my teammates are playing the meta characters, so Perfuma, Merc, and Sia. But honestly, playing meta characters is getting slightly boring for me, and so on these survivor-sided maps, I like playing Dancer, Gardener, these type of characters, and I know I can pull that off because I've been playing a lot more Dead by Daylight, so... On that by data, you obviously don't have elbow pads or portals, so you have to get used to kiting around the area without having a lot of help. And you can see the Merc has gotten downed already. And there are still 5 cybers remaining, but it will soon become 3 cybers. So he's going down and the smiley face is just leaving him on the floor, he doesn't even bother picking him up and he's just going after me now. So now there are four cybers remaining and I'm kiting here because as I said I really like this corner for kiting especially if the hunter isn't very tall then he can't really see above the walls and has to guess where I'm going to pretty much. So here I got hit and I dropped the pallet and I know he just used blank so he can't blank me here and I made him brick the pallet and then I vaulted the window again and I know he already has presence because of the down on the merc so I need to be really careful not to get rocket dashed on so yeah I'm just running across this area and I know that none of my teammates are near me so I can just use this area to my full advantage and we see that they have been spending time healing instead of decoding and there are three cybers remaining at this point so I'm just trying to transition away from my cypher because it's really nearly done and I want them to finish the cypher instead of starting another one and then that would require them a lot more time to do the cyphers but the merc came here to try and body block for me so I ran towards the cypher to let him hear how completed the cypher is and try to get him to decode instead of chasing after me because he's not actually helping the team. So now I'm just using broken windows again because I've already been chased for 40 seconds so it's already recharged again. So now Smiley Face is continuing to chase me and I know he will rocket dash me at this point but I really didn't care because we already have two cybers remaining very soon as I know that the Merc has decoded my cypher. So now Smiley Face is putting me on the chair and I'm fine with that because he has not gotten anyone on the chair yet. And the Seer has completed his cypher as well, so now we only need one more cypher. And as we saw the Perfumer Ping, she has nearly completed her cypher as well. So the Seer saved me with Tide Turner, and the Smiley Face went after me, and with my veteran bonus so I can run very quickly for a very long time, I dismantled this chair on the other side of the map so that smiley face would be very triggered and he would keep going after me just let him hit me and died right next to the chair he took the bait and just put me on the chair which bought my team a lot of time and we got the rank victory so hopefully you enjoyed watching this video please leave a like if you did and subscribe to the channel if you want to and i'll see you again very soon in the next video bye